Right now we're going to be looking at using the verb estar to talk about how people are feeling. In a previous video I discussed how you can use the verb estar to describe where somebody or something is located, uh, like yo estoy en la oficina, for I'm in the office, or estamos en el laboratorio, we're in the lab. Um, so just to do a quick review of the verb estar uh, and its conjugations, here we go. Yo estoy, yo estoy, tú estás, tú estás, él, ella, usted, está, está, nosotros, nosotras, estamos, vosotros, vosotras, estáis, ellos, ellas, ustedes, están. Now, when doing, uh, using the verb estar to talk about how people are feeling, you also have to keep in mind noun adjective agreement. Uh, earlier back we talked about using colors to describe clothing. For example, if you had a yellow t-shirt, it would be una camiseta amarilla. Uh, if you had yellow shoes, they would be los zapatos amarillos. And you had to make everything match up. You got to do the same thing with these as well. So I'm going to give you some common adjectives that you can use when talking about how people are feeling. And then um, keep in mind that when you answer the questions that I'm going to be giving you, that you might have to change the O to an A or add an S to the end of the adjective if we're talking about multiple people. And you'll see that in the answers that I give you. So some common adjectives that you might be able to use when talking about how people are feeling are the follows. Alegre. Alegre. Cansado. Cansado. Contento. Contento. Deprimido. Deprimido. Emocionado. Emocionado. Enfermo. Enfermo. Enojado. Enojado, nervioso, nervioso, ocupado, ocupado, preocupado, preocupado, tranquilo, tranquilo, triste, triste. Now when asking um, how somebody or some people are feeling, the first word you're going to use is como. Uh, we learned this a while ago when asking how are you, como estas? Uh, this is the same thing, but now we can ask how multiple people are feeling, and we'll also be able to respond how different people are feeling as well. So if I want to say, how are you? I could say, como estas? And then you would answer with, estoy, or yo estoy, and then give me an adjective. And then I'll also ask about some other people, how they're feeling. Think of an answer for that, and I'll give you a possible answer, and just to see how you're doing. So, pregunta uno, como estas? Como estas? Yo, yo estoy, yo estoy contento. Yo estoy contento. And if you were a girl, you would say, estoy contenta. Estoy contenta. Pregunta dos. ¿Cómo está tu amiga antes de un examen? ¿Cómo está tu amiga antes de un examen? Mi amiga está nerviosa. Mi amiga está nerviosa. Pregunta tres. ¿Cómo están tus maestros durante la escuela? ¿Cómo están tus maestros durante la escuela? Mis maestros están ocupados. Mis maestros están ocupados. Pregunta 4. ¿Cómo están tú y tus amigos después de escuela? ¿Cómo están tú y tus amigos después de escuela? Estamos contentos. Estamos alegres. Estamos emocionados. Uh, y si todos son chicas, estamos contentas. Estamos emocionadas. Pregunta número 5. ¿Cómo estás cuando tu hermano come tu almuerzo? ¿Cómo estás cuando tu hermano come tu almuerzo? Yo, yo estoy enojado. Y si yo soy una chica... Estoy enojada. Estoy enojada si eres una chica. Uh, that is it. 